In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Epson EcoTank ET2400 series printer. So let's start with the unboxing. Plug in the power cable and switch on the printer. So press the power button once. Now we will start the setup process. You can see the ink light here. Once you see it, that means we have to fill the ink tanks. So open it. Now open the ink like this. And we have to open this valve. Place the ink cartridge here. And press it down. So let let the ink go in let the ink go in so it might take a minute and then you can take it out close it now go to the next one open it place it here and press it down let the ink go you can shake the bottle in the end and take it out now close it So same way we have to do for the yellow, place it here, shake it well, so let it drain completely and you can take it out, close it, here we have the last one, open the ink chamber, place it down. Once it is filled in, you can take it out. Now close the ink door. Now we have to press and hold this button for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release it. Now wait for the printer. So it's going to take around 11 minutes. The ink light is gone and now we have to start the setup using our phone I'm using iPhone and I have now you have to download the Epson smart panel app open this app once you see the main screen of the app you have to add the printer so click on the plus button on the top so now select set up a new product continue give access to Bluetooth yes and the next and it should show up ET2400 series select it confirm it will ask you do you want to set up the Wi-Fi on this product yes now it says connect the product to your wireless network so click yes if that's the correct Wi-Fi yes so it will ask you to enter the password next 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 yes next now enter the password now it says signal is not fast so move near to the printer so Wi-Fi setup is complete and you will see the Wi-Fi light is stable now go to the app and click on the next just update your printer so you should be able to see your printer the next thing is to load the paper open this side and adjust the size lift it up place the pages and you can close it and here we can start using it for printing and scanning 
and to do the scanning we can open the top scanner lid place a page facing downwards on this side close the lid and click on the scan icon you can change some settings if you want and then click on the scan button so scan is transferred if you want you can add more scan or you can just click on the next and you can save the file you can just change its name and click on the save button click save next is to do the printing select any document you want to print so that is here and if I click on it click on the print button check if everything is ok that's the printer name and click on the start button instantly it will start the printing so this way we can do the complete setup of this printer we install the ink we load the paper we did the Wi-Fi setup now we are ready to use it. Thanks for watching.